poison me. And by the way, y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. A husband that lives in a completely different state. Yeah. To me, I thought, oh my God, that's when we're getting along the best. But then that is sad um, to me. Two, 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Kanye West has not always been on good terms with Kim Kardashian. Yes. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of and these it seems that Kanye has revealed what led to their breakup, and Diddy was part of it all. Right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out- Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's highly publicized relationship has always been a case of interest for all of us. It was a mix of beautiful gestures, undeniable talent, and public pronouncements. But beneath the glamorous surface, there were some visible tensions that ultimately led to a very public divorce. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a daughter da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're gonna go pull well, my- Well, there's no concrete evidence pinpointing the exact moment Kim and Diddy first met, except for Chris's case, but that's for later. However, considering their respective careers, it's likely their paths crossed in the late 1990s or early 2000s. During this period, Kim worked as a stylist for celebrities, including Diddy's ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. This professional connection could have paved the way for them to meet. They'd even been seen attending some high-profile events together, including Diddy's extravagant 50th birthday bash in 2019, where A-listers like Beyoncé, Kylie Jenner, and again, Kris Jenner were also present. These public appearances fuel speculation, but they're more likely a reflection of their shared social circles and industry connections if we look at it without a keen eye, of course. Why we say it like that is because Kanye also revealed seeing Kris Jenner pimping Kim Kardashian to Diddy. Love this dude, not just because he's ugly. He's not black. She likes black guys. Every guy that she, you know, is with looks, and we can agree with it since we have ourselves seen Kim Kardashian doing some Diddy stuff like Justin Bieber. As you know, Diddy had Justin in his cage, and whatever happened there, it could be where Kim Kardashian started out with Justin. And the recent allegations against Kim Kardashian regarding her interactions with Justin Bieber during his early career prove it all. The catalyst for this controversy is Justin Bieber's startling statement alleging that Kim Kardashian's actions towards him were worse than those of P. Diddy, who is currently under investigation for similar accusations of exploitation. This accusation, while vague, throws a dark shadow over Kardashian's past interactions with the then underage Bieber. Do you have a crush on him? <laughs> yeah, Kim, do you have a crush on him? If only he was 18. 18? Wait, you know there's stuff all over- The main the point of the matter here lies in the potential legal ramifications. If true, Kim's relationship with a minor could be considered a violation of statutory rape laws or laws regarding the corruption of minors. These charges carry some really heavy weight. But it could be the first time we are seeing one of the Kardashians going down. Huge. The parallel drawn to P. Diddy scores the prevalence of concerns regarding powerful figures in the entertainment industry taking advantage of young and vulnerable talent. Public appearances and social media posts from the time period in question even provide glimpses into the nature of their dynamic. Photos and videos show moments of closeness, raising eyebrows due to Bieber's age. Even behind the scenes, Footage from a photoshoot further fueled speculation of an inappropriate relationship existing beyond the public eye. I first met Justin Bieber at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in Washington, D.C. The massive age gap, with Kim being 29 and Justin only 16 at the time, adds a layer of complexity. While some might dismiss these interactions as light-hearted celebrity encounters, the curious ones raise valid concerns about the potential abuse of power given Kim's established status in the industry. The power dynamic between the two would have been heavily skewed in her favor, potentially rendering Justin susceptible to manipulation. It was on CNN, like all over the place, that him and I, some news reports have even reported that Kim Kardashian has been freaked out after Bieber's accusations. However, the nature of this reaction remains unclear. Is it genuine fear of legal repercussions, a calculated attempt to distance herself from the controversy, or a mixture of both? The lack of a formal response from Kim further fuels speculation. A clear and concise statement denying the allegations could potentially quell some of the noise, 
but the silence also leaves room for doubt to fester. And from here, we do not need any more connections, but even digging deeper reveals some more darker secrets. We all know of the Diddy allegations. These allegations have led to a massive shift in the relationships between Diddy and several major celebrities in the industry, including the interesting Kardashian-Jenner family. There are different levels to the hard time, but we're all having a hard time. The allegations against Diddy primarily start from accusations made by R and B singer Cassie Ventura and three other women. Is it true that Cassie's pregnant? They accused Diddy of years of abuse, including emotional and physical abuse, human trafficking, and more. You hear how it sounds, and you can tell how dangerous it could be to be mentioned in them. And yes, these serious allegations have led to a wave of celebrities distancing themselves from Diddy. Even over a dozen companies that were once associated with comms are distancing themselves from his recently launched e-commerce platform, Empower Global. As of now, 18 brands have severed ties with the online marketplace for black-owned businesses. But here is the most interesting part. In the middle of these developments, Kris Jenner, the matriarch of the Kardashian-Jenner family, has reportedly gone silent. Talk of an obvious move. This silence comes after the discovery of video footage featuring Kris Jenner in Diddy's house by federal agents. The exact nature and content of the footage have not been disclosed, leaving the public curious and eager for answers. Upon learning about the discovery of the video footage, Kris Jenner was allegedly shattered and devastated, literally. The matriarch, known for her strong and composed demeanor, could be anywhere right now, rethinking all her life's decisions. We never know. The revelation has probably taken an emotional toll on Jenner, raising even more questions about her involvement with Diddy and the potential implications for her family's brand. If we think about it, why would you run away if you had nothing to hide, right? Well, it could be that it is a coincidence, but as much as you'd like it, it doesn't get better. Um, two 24 hours before the raid, meanwhile, Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner's daughter, reportedly unfollowed Diddy on social media just hours before his house was raided. The timing of this action has raised even more eyebrows and invited speculation. Now, those are two Kardashians disappearing after Diddy raids, and two coincidences are not just a matter of chance, which tells us even more than we already speculate. But if we close our eyes and go with what is out there, it is unclear whether Kim's decision to unfollow Diddy was directly related to the raid or if it was a strategic move in response to unrelated developments. But Kanye West and Diddy have been navigating a rocky friendship for years. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. While the exact cause of the tension remains unclear, whispers of competition and clashing personalities have always been in the background. It is recently that this tension exploded into a public feud, driving the Kardashian family into the spotlight. The cracks first appeared in 2024 when Kanye, known for his unfiltered honesty, launched a series of accusations against Diddy. Accusations against Diddy painted a negative picture. Firstly, Kanye alleged Diddy's attempts to control and manipulate him, suggesting a use of power and even threats, similar to whatever might have happened in the case of Kim and Justin. You saying that um no he didn't want to be hooked up with my sister, he liked me or something just silly like that it was a joke, Kanye said. Secondly, Kanye linked Diddy to the Kardashians, particularly Kim, implying that her attendance at Diddy's freak-offs contributed to marital issues leading to their divorce. They all that they are doing that Diddy stuff with their mum in it that's that's why we broke up, Kenny said. Overall, these accusations portrayed Diddy in an unfavorable light, suggesting manipulation, involvement in personal conflicts, and legal troubles. But there is an unseen side to all these accusations. Firstly, uncertainty hovers over the authenticity of Kenny's claims. Is he genuinely expressing grievances, or is this another instance of his penchant for grabbing attention? Given Kanye's history of controversial outbursts, skepticism remains regarding his motives. Regarding the involvement of the Kardashians, particularly Kim, ambiguity persists. Are Kim's alleged actions truly questionable, or are they distorted by Kanye's narrative, fueled by their ongoing divorce proceedings? The absence of concrete evidence complicates efforts to discern the truth, leaving room for speculation and doubt. The possibility of legal repercussions hangs over the situation. Should evidence materialize to corroborate Kanye's and others' allegations, the prospect of legal action against Diddy becomes increasingly likely. Both Kanye and Diddy face potential damage to their reputations as a result of these allegations. 
Kanye's erratic behavior may be perceived unfavorably, potentially tarnishing his image in the eyes of the public. Similarly, Diddy risks facing public condemnation if investigations reveal any wrongdoing on his part, highlighting the precarious nature of celebrity reputations. Moreover, the impact on the Kardashian brand cannot be overlooked. While the specific details of the Diddy situation remain unclear, let's all hope that everyone gets the justice they deserve. Well, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more.